Hello new and old spike users. This video is the top three tips for successfully measuring with your spike. So this video will run you through a live demonstration as well as a couple slides to make sure you're giving the absolute most benefit out of your device in getting accurate measurements with photo measure. So tip number one, watch where you point the spike laser. The spike laser has to hit the surface uh, a, a, a solid flat surface for which it is that you're going to measure. If you don't do that, your measurements will not be accurate. Can't tell you how many spike photos that we see in support with the laser pointing out into the sky, pointing to a separate surface. The laser has to hit on the surface of the plane that you wish to measure. And let me show you here with the, with the spike, with a photo measure. I hope go ahead and open that up. And if I am measuring this banner, the laser has to be targeted on this surface. I can't measure over here. I cannot measure over here, only here. And so I just point the laser to the center of the banner. I go ahead and click it. And then I've got the surface. And I check to make sure that the laser is on the surface that I want to measure. And that's what that red dot is. That red dot tell it gives me a physical representation on the spike photo where the laser hit. In the case of windows, windows can be a little bit tricky. So once again, let's go out to the photo measure. And what we want to do with a photo measure is, is that we want to make sure that we're hitting uh, some frame within the, within the photo, as you can see here, not over here. Because as you can see here, all of a sudden it jumps, the laser rangefinder jumps out to 31 feet or so. And when I have it properly pointed on the frame of the window, you can see here it measures roughly 11 feet 9 inches and that's what it that's what I really want to shoot for because the laser will go through the window and use your laser rangefinder as a guide so you can see here that as I move it across or move it down that it gives me the accurate range that I should be looking for so once again I just go ahead and point at the frame I take the photo and then I'm go ahead to ready to go So as a, just a quick graphic representation of that, just to drive this point home, measure only on a single plane with a photo measure. Here is correct, to the left is incorrect. If I want to measure here, this requires a separate photo. If I want to measure here, that requires a separate photo. I can only measure on a flat planar surface for which the laser is hit. And once again, measuring windows, Laser will go through a window, so you use a piece of paper or film or aim at the frame, aim at non-reflective surfaces. Reflective surfaces will interfere with the laser. Uh, the laser will go through windows, so make sure that you have something that will reflect the target back properly. And that can be manufacturing uh, a target that you can affix to the window. Tip number two, always align your photo measures. Always align your photo measures. Cannot drive that home uh, anymore because if you do not skip because if you skip that alignment that alignment step your measurements will not be accurate so once you've taken your your spike photo and you're ready to measure the first step is is that you complete that alignment rectangle so let's go ahead and let's go ahead and start from the beginning where I'm going to find a natural occurring rectangle within the image I go ahead and I take that photo I then open up that photo and then I get that alignment now, because I've taken this photo at an angle, I need to correct for those angles on the X and the Y and even on the Z. And so what I'm going to do is, is that I'm going to take my finger and I'm going to place them on each one of these little green circles. And I'm going to drag them to the corners of that natural occurring rectangle. And I go ahead and do that just like so. And so I'm just going to do this really quick for demo purposes but now once I've done that what this does is that this is corrected for the angles within the photo I go ahead and click next and now what that's done is is that that is corrected uh, for the uh, the shift in the pixels for me taking at this angle so I can measure anything on this surface I can measure on the screen I can measure these little pieces of paper down here. But what I cannot do is, is that I cannot measure up here.
because as you can see, the scale is set to the surface here. So once again, measure on the surface of which the laser is hit, do your alignments, then your measurements will be, will be accurate. And finally, tip number three is, is check your angle. What you want to try to do is, is that you want to try to get as perpendicular as possible, as you see here, with me taking, uh, this, with pointing the spike laser at the, at the banner. But I can also take these at an angle, but there's a limit to that angle that I can do. And so that angle is actually 60 degrees uh, from, uh, you know, from, from perpendicular. And the graphic on the, on the screen here to the left gives you an idea of what that looks like. So being, uh, being a minimum of six feet back, maximum range of, two, of 200 meters, but the maximum range for a photo measure you really want to do is roughly around 100 to 100 and 120 meters. But I can go up to 60 degrees from perpendicular or 30 degrees from parallel. This area here is just too much of an angle for us to have to resolve uh, you know, based upon the methodologies that we use. So as long as you follow these three tips, make sure that the laser hits the surface of the target that you wish to measure, making sure that you do your alignment rectangle, and making sure that your angles are not too extreme. You do those three things. You'll get, you'll get more accurate measurements out of, out of your spike photo and out of the photo measurement process. So if you have any other questions, feel free to read out, reach out to our support line, toll-free number as well as direct number on the screen as well as an email. And so hopefully these tips help to improve your experience, improve the accuracy of your measurements, improve your workflows. Happy spiking.